ladies, hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing Sound of Freedom. This movie came out in July of 2023. This is the movie that when people are going to buy tickets online, it was saying it was sold out. And people would go into the movie theater and the movie theater would be empty. It's also where people were watching it and they would say the AC in that particular theater and only in that theater was broken. It was, uh, people would start watching it and the projector would break and they'd be like, well, you know, do you want to wait or, you know, come back and get a refund? I mean, I've heard and watched several reviews on this movie where people are like, yo, we don't know what was going on. It's like they didn't want this movie to get watched. Um, this was a surprise sleeper hit. Well, first of all, this movie was made five years before it came out. So they had a hard way to go to get this movie to come out. So, let's get into the review. Now, I did not see it in the movie theaters. I usually take my younger daughter with me. I did not want her to watch this because I didn't know how graphic it would be. Now, I will say, I found this DVD at Dollar General. I didn't find it at Walmart, and I didn't find it at Target. I found it in Dollar General all the way back in the corner when I was getting getting ready to check out. I asked it just hit my peripheral and I saw it and I was like, oh my, I grabbed it and I watched it. Now, I would say this is a good movie. This is a really good movie. It's based on true life events. I'm sure some of it was exaggerated. It's a movie, you guys. Come on, it's not a documentary. It's based on true events. It even says that based on the incredible true story. So I'm sure some things were, you know, exaggerated a little bit. But I will say this movie made me look at my husband with all kind of due respect. Because my I am always the mom that's, yeah, let, let our kids go outside and play. Let them spend the night at their friend's house. And my husband's like, no, they're not doing that. I know the type of people in the world. I don't, I don't want our kids to be in that position. Now, the older I've gotten with my kids, I understand that more. But watching this really hit home. Like, I was like... God only knows what situations he saved our kids from. Hopefully, you know, none of their friends or anything would ever do that. But it's like, you really can't trust anybody. So, the movie starts with, this is the dad, and that's his son. The, um, the dad has a daughter, and she gets a chance to be a model. Dad drops her off, and the modeling lady's like, oh, no, no helicopter, no stage dads. Come back at 7 o'clock sharp. Me, I'd have been like, um, I can't be in there to watch. I'm sorry. Kids, let's go. Because this father came back at 7 o'clock, and he's the only dad that came back at 7 o'clock to look like, and the whole place was wiped clean. The kids were gone. So it shows how this guy... Tim goes through his everyday life and he's on a sting and he, you know, talking up with this guy, putting on, he's an incredible actor and a liar. I'll tell you that this agent, oh, he's a good liar. If anything's go by. So he, you know, found this, the little boy, the guy's hugging. They used to call the little boy teddy bear. Well, when he found him, he gave the guy, Tim, a necklace his sister gave him. He goes, your name is Tiametto. And he goes, yes. He goes, this, find my sister. It's incredible how he found this little girl. Now, this little girl's so cute. So, you know, she got sold into, you know, sexual slavery, sex trafficking. And this movie goes into how he found her. And it really made you see how the kids react to it how the trauma can affect them and it wasn't it wasn't like graphic where you saw what some of the people were going to do it just gave you enough inclination that your mind went with it and you're like i i can't i don't mm-mm. And I can see why people are like, we don't want to watch it because this hits a nerve with you. And you're like, how many people do I actually know that are doing this? And I have no idea. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, 
granted, I am more closed off with my kids and I don't let them do hang out like I would have when they were younger because I had blind faith in people. And my husband was like, no, we're not going to do that. But watching this, I'm like, these people look like ordinary mild man are people that you could trust your kids with and th- that made me sick to my stomach like I wonder how many people I know and speak to on a daily basis and show respect are just disgusting and I think that's why people have problems with this movie because it made people think it made people realize some of the people I know I can almost guarantee you are involved in this just little signs that this movie showed me and I was like, yeah, I, I'm sitting here looking at people like, oh, I wonder. But I will say this is a movie I would watch again. It's not like a movie I can watch right again and be like, yay, yeah, such a good movie. No, this movie will rip your heart out if you have a heart. It will make you start questioning the people that you interact with day to day. And and maybe, hopefully... Give you understanding why some parents are like, oh, you know, your kid can spend a night. And they're like, no. Hey, give it to them because they're protecting their kids. But that's all I'm going to say about this. I will give this movie a five out of five. It touched my heartstrings. It made me think. And I just say, this man, this real life, Tim, I forget his last name. I'm sorry. He, he's doing something. And I hope that he can continue to rescue these kids. Because if he's not, I don't think anybody else will be able to. All right, guys, that's it my for my review. In the comments below, let me know if you've seen this movie and what you think. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.